What's good, MABW team? What's going on today, MABW fam? I'm back today with another video. In today's video, Bow Wow, what world are you living in, my friend? What world are you living in? Bow Wow. I don't care if it's your baby mother. I don't care if it's your wife. I don't care if it's your girlfriend. She's never yours. It's just your turn. When a woman feels like she can have something better or a better man that she thinks is okay comes along, she will choose that man. She's never yours. It's just your turn. Now, fellas, in this video, Bow Wow is really out here acting like there's a bro code when it comes to friends, homeboys, or other guys keeping away from your baby mother. Bow Wow, what dimension are you living in? What dimension? Because you got wolves out here. And I don't care if some of these guys are your best friends. Some of these guys will sleep with your baby mother. If it's your baby mother and you're not with her, I don't even see why that's a problem. You just need to move accordingly, even if she did sleep with one of your friends. Once you show emotion because one of the guys that you knew knocked down your baby mother, it makes you look weak. It makes you look weak. Guys, don't ever make yourself look weak out here. Don't ever show no emotion over your baby mother. At the end of the day, she has a right to move on with her life. Some things that your baby mother may do, she may try to do it to get up under your skin, even if it's sleeping with a friend of yours. Oh, well, let it be. As long as you're out there enjoying your life and moving the way that you want to move, you shouldn't be mad what your baby mother does. Some of you dudes get too emotional over your baby mothers and y'all be wanting to go out here and kill men, hurt men, and end up in jail. And once you end and once you end up in jail, or that man probably knocks you off as far as taking you off the planet Earth, she's gonna be doing the same thing she's been doing. So what's the purpose or what's the reason in even bringing her up? Bow Wow made himself look real weak and soft in this video. He talks about being mad a little bit or that she should have knew better of, uh, about sleeping or uh, being on Diddy's yacht and kissing him. And I will tell you right now, I'm pretty sure Diddy did more than just kiss your baby mother on that yacht. For God's sake, she had a baby with Future. Any woman that has a baby with somebody with about more than five or six or seven kids, in my eyes, they're just, they're out of whack. They're, they're, they're out of whack in, in some type of way because you know that person isn't even going to dedicate no type of time to you. You know that person is not going to be with you because that person had multiple kids by multiple women. She had a baby by future. So you don't think she'll possibly sleep with Diddy? You don't think any other rich guy might just want to knock your baby mother down just to say they knocked her down? These hoes are for everybody. Stop worrying about your baby mothers, guys. Stop. I'm telling you, stop showing weakness. But you know what? I'm not even going to talk no more. Let's get right into this damn video. Yeah, I don't got no baby mama drama at all. So it was cool when she was on Diddy's boat and all that. Damn, damn, damn. Nah, I mean, she she knew better. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> nah, because, you know, it, it for me, it's, it's more of a man thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, me and her, we had our discussion about that. Trust me. That might have been the last time she What about the here. video? Um, That was cool. What's up, love? What's up? Me and dude, we definitely had our rap. I'll keep that between us. You know what I'm saying? We, we had our powwow. To my guys out there, do you think that Bow Wow pressed Diddy and had any type of something man to man that he he could at the, because you got to think about it even if you did have some type of personal uh talk with diddy do you think diddy really cared do you really think that diddy cared little old bow wow had a personal talk with diddy 
<laughs> like really? What did you say? I would love to know what you said to Diddy. I would love to say what you did to Diddy. And you should have never even, you should have never even pressed your baby mother on the subject about who she's talking to or who she's sleeping with. I don't understand that for the life of me. Y'all, y'all not even together. So why are you worried about who's whose yacht she is on and who she is sleeping with? Let her sleep with them. Let her do her. Let her do her. It's not going to kill you. You out here moving the way that you want to move as a man. Let her move the way she wants to move as a woman. When it's all said and done, a lot of these women at the end of the day regret all the bodies that they got, especially when it's put out there on display. Let them do them. Let them do them. Men will never take half these baby mothers and half these women that they see, especially on television, sleeping with all these men. Men will never take them serious. And when it's all said and done, a lot of men could just sit back and laugh like, oh, she slept with this guy. She slept with that guy. She slept with this guy. Now no guy wants her because they know she's for the streets because she's for the streets because men talk for the most part. Some of these men just be talking too damn much. They pillow talking punks. So they're going to talk about the woman that they slept with. Not saying that Puff Daddy has to talk about sleeping with her because she's just a bust down in my eyes. She's just an industry bust down and she has no relevance other than having a baby by Bow Wow, having a baby by Future and sleeping with Diddy. Amongst other men, I'm probably she has slept with too in the industry. What is she known for? What is she known for? These guys out here be making these women relevant. These guys out here make the women relevant. They don't make themselves relevant. You feel me? And um, we handled it how we were supposed to handle it. And that was just that. But all men know it's a certain conduct and code you go by. You know what I'm saying? There's certain things that's off limits. And everybody know wives and baby mamas. It's just some shit that, you know, you stay clear from. Wives and baby mamas is something you stay clear from. <laughs> Guys, in what world? In what world are married men sleeping with married women as far as like they're not married together but they're sleeping with another person's wife or married women are sleeping with some other uh old joe down the street in what world this is real life this is reality i'm not sugarcoating nothing married men sleep with people's uh baby mothers or wives married women sleep with uh other woman's baby father or mere or husband this is what happens in reality there's no bro code there's no bro code i don't trust dudes just like i don't trust women so therefore we not friends so whatever you did if you did it with an ex-girlfriend or a baby mother i don't care you can't care guys you need to walk around with an i don't care attitude especially when it comes to women once you walk around with an I don't care attitude, you're going to be just fine because nothing can nothing can mess up your mental anymore. If she cheated on you or slept with somebody, you could be like, OK, you could chalk it up. That's part of the game. You could chalk it up. Guys, what do y'all think about this? Should you risk? Should, should there be like a loyalty when it comes to your homeboy sleeping with your wife or your baby mother? Because I'm pretty sure when these dudes that you're rolling with are sleeping with other dudes, baby mothers, or if they slept with that other guy's wife, I guarantee you wouldn't stop your boy from sleeping with them. So what would make you think that your baby mother or your wife is off limit? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Anyways, that's my video for today. If you like the video, of course, comment, like, and subscribe. It ain't costing you a damn thing. And of course, I'm going to holler back at y'all later. Peace.